Hello everyone, this is my first tutorial about PCG graphs and here I want to show you one very simple graph how to scatter in one PCG volume a couple of trees. So first of, first of all, when you begin with PCG graph you have to activate the plugin. So go to the plugins, type procedural and you have this plugin. I already activated it. So I don't activate it again, but when you activate it, you have to restart Unreal Engine. So that's important. I created a new level here. Hmm. And I'll create a couple of lights inside. So and next we need one landscape can be something like that that I can scatter the trees on this landscape so let's make a little bit there something so next step will be to create one volume and we type here PCG volume so we have created one PCG volume here so we come out of the landscape mode and we scale a little bit the volume so okay let's give it a little bit more like let's do say like 50 and now the PCG volume have one PCG component and in this PCG component we can insert our PCG graph so next step I will create one PCG graph this PCG graph I will put inside of the PCG component of the value when I start it it looks like that. Have one input and output. So in this input we have our landscape. First we need to create one node called surface sampler. With this surface sampler, we can create a point on the surface, on our landscape. And this surface sampler, or actually every node, can be debugged. When you debug it, you see the points what are created on the surface and it's also something else very important you can also inspect the node and you see all the points what are created on the surface so here we have 625 points So when we inspect it, we are sure that we have points on the surface. Well, for now, we can turn it off and we let it like that. We see with points per sample matter, we can 
make less or more points. So now I want less because I want to scatter some trees. So make like that. Like that. <laughs> it's better like that. I'd like a little bit more. 8.5, okay. And now we need to scatter the our geometry on these points. For that we need one spawner. We take the static mesh spawner. So here geometry for example this one we can take and here in the static mesh spawner we have our mesh entries here we can create one mesh entry and to take for example let's take this tree here Oop. it's already inside can deactivate this, activate in debugging mode the static mesh spawner and now we don't see them because the trees are inside of the debugging geometry but when we take it off we see our trees so we're scattering some trees on the surface, but they look all same in the same directions. To make a little bit chaos inside, we can use the transform points node. So transform points, connect them like that. So disconnect this and we make like from 0 to 360 degrees rotation so we see that for example here some trees they don't grow up how they should um, make absolute rotation and then they grow up in the z direction so that is actually the basic scattering principle and here of course we can make them less or more let's make them a little bit more a little bit more more like that and by transform points we can make them scaling a little bit like say like 1.5 1 to 1.5 yeah. and that's all now we're scattering here some trees very fast and with just three nodes the output node we don't need for now So that was everything for the first tutorial and see you in the next one.